Hello, everyone. Happy to be here with, uh, today with uh, with Risto, the CEO of Wine Fortune, uh, a leading investment platform in into the world of wines. So we've we've seen you know a lot of similarities in in the business model that we've done, and we've been working together with Risto on this fundraise for I think the past uh, few months since the beginning of the year, and we're happy now to officially go live and and uh, raise publicly. So. Uh, without further ado, I'll invite I invite Risto to introduce himself a bit and tell us a bit more about about Wine Fortune. Yeah, hello Eric and uh, Seedplink members. Uh, it's great to be in here and uh, make it make this journey together. Uh, from Wine Fortune side, uh, yes, as you also told, we have quite uh, quite much uh, similarities with the crowdfunding uh, itself. Uh, because from the from the wines investment side, we are making it also very much uh, as a crowdfunding uh, model base. Because we don't uh, we don't uh, tell the customers that uh, they have to choose out uh, fine wines themselves. They don't have to take a risk against a certain bottle. Because uh, we have seen on the market, uh, it has been also the problem why uh, this alternative asset class as wine wines have been very like a niche market uh, because uh, it's uh, there is like a high entry barriers uh, to uh, to enter the market uh, to start investing in wines because the uh, beginners uh, approximately 10000 pounds to pay in uk or or at least also 1000 dollars is a too big ticket and uh, and still all the portfolio managers uh, uh, will give a list to customers that they have to choose out wines to take risk against uh, some few bottles. So in Wine Fortune, what we are doing, uh, we are offering two uh, easy understandable products. One is a classical investment fund, but the investment fund that invests only in fine wines so customers can choose uh, whenever and uh, how much uh, they would like to buy fund shares. Uh, and every Monday, they will see the update of the net asset value, uh, asset under management, uh, total value on our platform. And we are taking this fund as an additional pension fund because it's the evergreen and, uh, and, and uh, we are selling also wines uh, out of this fund in, in a long-term perspective. Um, and the second product is a subscription uh, to the wine list vouchers. It's uh, more easily said, it's like an unofficial fund because uh, there is the advantage that uh, you are buying uh, vouchers uh, with a recurrent payment every month. Is it then 50 euros, 150 euros or 500 euros? And depending of this uh, wine list, the uh, minimal amount of the payment is the also risk appetite. And in the future, you can change your shares against real bottles. So when in investment fund, you will take profit out uh, with cash uh, or uh, with new fund shares, uh, then from the subscription, you can take uh, your profit out also in wines. Example, when customers buy uh, shares uh, next month uh, with 50 euros, then after maybe 10 or 15 years, you can exchange uh, on your uh, some special occasion like jubilary wedding anniversary against some bottle where is the value over 100 euros or maybe 150 euros. So it's yeah, easily to say that we have one product, but this uh, classical financial instrument and the other product what's the unique where you can take out these wines uh, also uh, against your shares. And what's unique uh, from our unique opportunity on the market is that we will put everything on the logistical chain, uh, on the tracking blockchain. And this is the one of the reasons why we are also raising right now money. Uh, also to raise our awareness uh, on the new markets, but the uh, other side uh, to build, build up a uh, full technology cycle from the producers, uh, through the, our uh, logistical partner and through the end, end consumer uh, to the uh, wholesalers uh, to end market. So in the future, it could be uh, the best uh, data platform for wine sector also to evaluate uh, what's the current status of the demand and supply in different regions 
and also for uh, producers to evaluate the uh, real uh, price level uh, for new vintages. And, uh, and for us as a company, as also the investors who will invest in, uh, in our company, we will be a part of this uh, fund manager and also a par part of this uh, subscription model based company, mother company. So uh, in, in easily said, you can be uh, like, a, uh, you, you can be one of the owners of the biggest uh, fine wine uh, uh, investing company. And, and can you tell us a bit more about the history of the company? So how, how did you end up, you know, doing this? So what was the story? What was the garage story behind it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we started actually as a as an importer and uh, and and also the wholesaler just for uh, wine wines uh, 2017, and uh, and years uh, one year later we uh, saw that there is also demand to store wines also for the for the clients uh, own wines, and then we uh, built up uh, first uh, seller to provide storage uh, service, and two years later 2020. Uh, when we had already approximately 200 uh, clients, we solved the need uh, to manage all these assets and uh, and, and all these transactions uh, in one place. So uh, we made the concept for a wine fortune uh, to make like investing platform. And 2021, when we had succeeded to uh, raise also first angel investor money to company, uh, we made first version of the platform wine fortune. And uh, when we uh, firstly started to uh, manage uh, physical portfolios for personal clients, then we uh, moved forward in uh, uh, 2022 uh, to get license uh, officially fund manager. And, uh, and end of October 2022, uh, we launched our uh, first investment fund, uh, what's also actually first one in Europe, uh, first one in Europe and all total in world. Uh, that's offering uh, like uh, easy entering in the new asset class as available for all the retail investors because uh, one uh, share price is approximately one euro. And and uh, beginning of this year, we made also a pivot for a subscription uh, product. We don't manage any more like personal portfolios, but we made it even more easier to customer uh, that now it's like a, a list vouchers. So uh, we don't have uh, any uh, restrictions anymore to scale our business because uh, no matter is uh, next month coming uh, 200 or 2000 new customers to subscription or investment fund, we can man manage uh, with all full assets, not have to manage like uh, uh, separate the customers portfolios uh, anymore. And in the future also, these customers who own uh, shares of the subscription, they have more widened uh, portfolio to choose which uh, top wine they would like to take it out. And can you also walk us a bit through the competition and you know uh, how how does the competitive landscape look like for for Wine Fortune? Yeah, when when we see the history of the wine wine investments, then uh, in Europe it has been or, or actually. In, in all whole world, it's been very UK based, and uh, and this it's it's uh, been like a portfolio management uh, business. Uh, like I told also that you have to start approximately ten thousand uh, pounds uh, to start your portfolio. So it's not open for a small and uh, middle sized uh, retail investors, and and uh, because of that we saw that yeah uh, we need also the market uh, some product but could be uh, easy to access uh, small investors. Uh, there will be transparent uh, uh, fees model also, because we don't have any additional costs or fees uh, when you take out uh, funds later uh, or, or, or your uh, wines out uh, from the subscription and, and so on. And, and also uh, when uh, even two years uh, back, uh, 2022, Game uh, on the market uh, more widely in, in US uh, company Vinovest, they are still making like a portfolio based uh, investments. So customer is connected uh, straight with uh, certain bottles. Uh, but in our case, uh, it's it's more uh, more more uh, uh, competitive uh, because uh, in in investment fund 
you can invest in the fine wine market. You don't have to invest in certain region, vintage or label. And, uh, and our advantage also of its subscription is that uh, it's uh, uh, only product where you can uh, take your uh, profit out uh, in cash or in wines. So you have possibility to trade with your shares on secondary market, but you have possibility also to take out these in wines. So it's also a unique uh, opportunity on the market. And, and tell us a bit more about about this round and uh, you know about this uh, both on the crowdfunding and then also on the angels that have contributed so far to the to the company's uh, story. Yeah, we have uh, very very good to say that uh, we have uh, lead investor uh, status uh, Sergei Yanikin, uh, who is uh, one of the co-founders uh, in Pipe Drive, uh, unicorn company from Estonia. Uh, he's also advising us in the te technology side, uh, all the CTO uh, ad advisement. And, and, and the second one is uh, Siem Sikut, uh, who was uh, head of uh, Estonian State of IT Ministry. Um, uh, all the IT uh, process and management in our, uh, our IT field. Uh, and a third one, who was also the first ancient investor, is uh, Ryan Rosimannus, uh, who has uh, over 23 years experience of different companies in uh, Horeca, wholesale, uh, marketplace companies, uh, logistical uh, areas. Uh, so, so yeah, these three uh, uh, angel investors already uh, contributed uh, in this round. And also, as our closed fund uh, is contributed uh, in 30,000 euros value, uh, our own customers already too, uh, who are supporting our, our success. And what are the next steps after this round? So what are the things that, you know, that, that excite you for, for the coming 12 to 24 months? Yeah, uh, regarding our market analysis uh, last year uh, through uh, September to uh, December, we chose out uh, that most most traction uh, for our platform uh, came from uh, Germany and Italy. And uh, thanks to our contacts uh, and networks uh, with producers, uh, some uh, different uh, uh, investors uh, and uh, companies, uh, we definitely want to uh, test more uh, Germany and Italy market uh, in, in next six months. And, and after that, uh, you focus only as a one uh, certain uh, foraging market. So our main goal would be to be present uh, after 12 months, uh, at least in Germany or Italy, uh, as, as uh, from our current amounts, at least 12, 13 times uh, bigger amount uh, in value and customer size. And, and the second side is technology development, as I also told, we want to build all this uh, movement of the asset on uh, Shimmer Network because it's like a zero cash fees and uh, easiest uh, technology to also scale uh, all the transactions uh, that all the cycle of the movement uh, from the producers to the wholesalers to end consumer will be uh, traceable uh, on blockchain and it will give uh, us and also on the market most valuable data platform in the future. And we are seeing, we are also being in discussion with example, uh, Haney as a CEO of uh, Vivino, uh, who told that they could be also interesting in the future uh, for acquirement uh, as, as such a company. So, uh, so yeah, we are moving in this scale uh, to make it as automated all the process of the investment and also the asset movement and to make, uh, to be as visible in Europe and through the listing also in next two, three years, uh, probably under uh, alternative stock market in London uh, with double listing also in Shanghai. So this is the, our perspective, what we need is uh, assets right now to make all the preparations and the scaling to new markets in next few years uh, to, uh, to get after that listing uh, also in public markets. And after that in five, six years also uh, to be also uh, potential acquirement of the largest company uh, from from this this market. All right. Well, thank you so much, Risto, for for for, for taking the time. Uh, good luck. You know, we're happy to be able to support you in this in this fundraise and uh, exciting times exciting times ahead in this you know this alternative investment space. 
So with that being said, um, I invite, you know, the Seedlink investors uh, to and anyone who has questions to address them uh, in the in the discussion tab. So their campaign of uh, of Wine Fortune will be live starting with the, the 16th of May for uh, approximately uh, approximately a month. And uh, we will be hosting an additional, you know, Q and A session. But in the meantime, feel free to address any kind of questions to to Risto and the team on the on the discussion tab. And um, I wish you, you know, uh, thank you, Risto, again for your time and wishing you the best of luck. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Seatlink members. Uh, feel free to uh, ask any questions, and uh, I'm glad to answer to all of, all of you.